Welcome to this educational uh, video from Hemoband Surgical on the uh, correct use of the uh, Hemoband Surgical Sleeve Locks Proctoscope. My name is Isam Garib. I'm the medical director in the company and I'm also the inventor of the uh, Hemoband Surgical uh, Hemoband Plus Ligator and also the Sleeve Locks Proctoscope. The Hemoband Sleeve Locks uh, Proctoscope is a single-use disposable self-eliminating proctoscope and it has a unique feature and that unique feature is the presence of the sleeve. As we know when we do proctoscopy the patients feel the introduction of the scope at the beginning and then when we do any rotation they also feel that. The presence of the sleeve actually negates this problem. So they feel only the first introduction of the trocar with the sleeve and when the sleeve is put in, any, any extraction and the reintroduction of the scope and also any rotation to direct the scope to any lesion or an area which you're going to biopsy or a hemorrhoid which is going to band, they don't feel it. This feature is patented and uh, it has proved to be uh, very good for patient discomfort. We're using for this procedure this mannequin which we developed ourselves and it has a rectum, a full rectum and the anal canal. Uh, it's actually for teaching of rigid sigmoidoscopy and the proctoscopy and it has hemorrhoids which we will be able to see. So the first step is that we have to assemble the scope uh, to be ready. So this is the handle and the handle comes with the light module and we connect the handle simply like this into the main body of the scope. Okay? And it contains the light. Then we have the trocar and the sleeve. So we introduce the trocar into the sleeve and started the procedure. The important points here that we have to really well lubricate the trocar and the sleeve before introduction. The second part which is very important is very slow, steady, gentle pressure to introduce this uh, trocar. The scope as the, the uh, sleeve locks scope comes in two sizes, the 24 millimeter and the 16 millimeter. The 24 mm seems a bit big, but it is not a unique uh, product in the market. But it actually allows the doctor to see all three hemorrhoids at the same time in most, in most cases. So it'd be able to band the hemorrhoids without moving too much or looking for an area where to put the band. And it makes the procedure very fast, uh, which is excellent for patient discomfort. Now we are going to apply the uh, KY jelly liberally on the trocar and the sleeve as well, and start to introduce it by as we see here, very gentle, steady pressure to dilate the external sphincter because the patient is apprehended and worried they contract the external sphincter and to that to be dilated, it has to be done by a steady, very slow pressure and that will reduce the patient discomfort. Okay, so after putting that, we hold the sleeve and we take the trocar out and then we introduce the body of the scope. There is a locking mechanism which will actually very helpful in, in holding the scope for us into inside the sleeve and and but it's very easy if we like to take it out we can just you know, twist it and to unlock it. And then having done that, it's just 
we can turn the light on and then see inside and if we, we can look here we can see because of the size of the scope we can see hemorrhoids and but we can steady the scope and the sleeve inside and if we like to do banding we can go in and do the banding at the end of the procedure because it is lubricated very well now very slowly we can extract the whole scope out okay this will be disposed of all of it into the clinical waste but before we do that with the handle it's very simple that we pull out the light module it comes very simply out of the of the handle and that would be disposed of with battery disposal according to your uh, local policy i hope that i was successful in explaining how to use the proctoscope and if you have any questions please contact us with in hemobandsurgical.com thank you